Spotted the link, of course, kind of fitting that this edition's past master should be Gordon McQueen, who's also now on the Borough backroom staff. The giant Scott certainly left a big impression on United fans following his signing from Leeds United. It was at Ellen Road that he'd built an international reputation after taking over from none other than Jackie Charlton. Probably my father could have went in and played centre and a half in, in that side because it was such a, I mean, it was Bremner 4, McQueen 5, Hunter 6 and it took me a long while to get used to that. It was Dave Sexton who decided to bring the dominating McQueen to dovetail with the elegant Martin Buchan. A third Scot, Gordon's former Leeds teammate Joe Jordan, was already adding teeth to the attack. Joe looks reasonably handsome with his teeth in, but um, with, the, with, with the teeth out, he was a pretty fearsome character. And, um, the Man United punters loved him. They, they, they just loved his 100% cavalier, go-ahead approach. And I mean, defenders just hated playing against Joe. Mind you, defenders also hated that moment when Gordon himself ambled forward into the attack for corners and free kicks. Over it comes towards McQueen. <laughs> A dummy. Oh, well done. Here's Nickel again. And there's the goal from Gordon McQueen. So McElroy to take the corner and swing it in towards Jennings. And McQueen heads in. And it's Wilkins. And McQueen. Yes. Shot absolutely beaten. All ends up by Gordon McQueen. Oh, the big smile on that fella's face. Yeah, well, I used to work out this same um, set piece of training. I used to say to Ray Wilkins, just aim for the biggest thing in the park, my head. And, uh, and I, used to work, I used to play one twos off my head into the back of the net. Perhaps his most memorable goal came in one of the most memorable FA Cup finals ever against Arsenal in 1979. United had pulled it back to 2 2 with just a minute left. The game seemed destined for extra time. Unfortunately, still enough time for Alan Sunderland to break United hearts. What an amazing cup final! Gary was a good goalkeeper, obviously, and um, ah, he maybe, yeah, he made a mess of it. <laughs> Not letting him away with that one. <laughs> Gordon finally won his coveted FA Cup final medal against Brighton in 1983. But surprisingly, he eventually moved back north to Scotland for spells in coaching and management. Gordon McQueen, eloquent, entertaining, a Manchester United past master. The happiest memories I've got in my career at Manchester United because I spent like over eight and a half years at, at Old Trafford and for me, if I go back to England now to watch games for example, I'll go and watch Manchester United, I never get near Ellen Road um, and for me Manchester United are the, the biggest club in Britain and just great, great times.